Today on America's Court with Judge Ross. He decides to be crazy and jump into the crowd all the time at every show. Did the people catch it? No. No. <laughs> Who would catch an idiot like this? The whole purpose behind law is to right wrong. I want justice to be something that isn't this foreign concept. Justice knows no boundaries. The truth will be heard. Fair, firm, compassionate. This is America's Court with Judge Ross. Musician Janet Clarkson is suing fellow rocker Paul Whitney in the amount of $1,058 for damage to a bass guitar and amplifier she says is his fault. All rise, remain standing and come to order. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Kevin Ross presiding. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. All parties have been sworn to honor. Thank you, Deputy Thomas. Janet Clarkson, you're suing Paul Whitney for $1,058 Apparently there was some destruction to your bass guitar as well as an amplifier, yes? Yes, Your Honor. So uh, we got a little rock and roll going on here, Yes, huh? we do. Talk to me about it. What's going on? Um, Your Honor, I have known Paul for about nine months. We've mm -hmm. been in a band for eight. Is it a rock man? Yes, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. What's the role that Mr. Whitney, what do you play in terms of the band? Lead singer, vocals, bro. Uh, no, 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 bro. won't work with me up in here. It's Judge Ross, Boss Ross, okay? That's the drunk side of him Boss talking. Ross. That's the drunk side of him. Yes, Your Honor. Why do you say that's the drunk side of him? Because he's always drunk, Your Honor. That's not, it's not true. That's not true. Right. He, I'm not drunk he, right now. How, how's that even possible? Is he drunk right now, in He your should opinion? be. He could he be. Sure Typical I thing. I should be drunk. Well, hold do you listen moment. to her? Who, who is this person? This is my witness, Your Honor. Step forward, sir. And, and your name? My name is Gary Hamilton, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Hamilton, is he also okay. in the band, or is he play some other role? I'm the drummer of the band. Okay, so you're the drummer. Yeah. You're the lead singer. Yeah. What is your role? I play the bass guitar. And so this was your bass that was destroyed? Yes, Your Honor. Who is kind of like the, the leader of the group here? Yeah, well, of course I am. Oh, you are? Okay. Yes. I, I didn't know she that. She started it, Your Honor. You started the band? Yeah. Yes. And when you initially started the band, did you already know Mr. Hamilton or you just met him? No, I knew Mr. Hamilton. You knew Mr. Hamilton. Did you know Mr. Whitney? No, we met Mr. Whitney at a bar one night while we were out partying. All right. And out of all the lead singers you could have gotten, why did you pick him? Because he's really good at what he does, Your so Honor. So he's good. True, yes. Your Honor. Is that really true, Mr. Good. Hamilton? He's good. He just has an alcohol and drug problem, Your yes, Honor. Wait, and what did you say? I you said, said I'm really good. It's true. It's That's true. the first true thing You're that she okay. said all day. You're okay. You're not all I'm that great. great. Well, hold on a moment. He can't just be okay because you wouldn't want a lead singer who was just okay. Well, he's okay because he's just drunk all the time. All right. I'm talking about Obsessed. in terms of his ability to perform. <clears throat> is he a good lead singer? Yes, he yes, is, Yes, he is, Your Honor. Thank you. You can't take that from him, correct? Right. We're not trying to. Okay, but you're Thank saying you, what takes it down for you. Oh, I heard you say. What takes it down for you is that he's got other things going on that distract him. Drugs, yes. alcohol, yes. and drugs. He has no self-control over himself. He's irresponsible with no self-control. Talk to me, Mr. Whitney. Singing. Is that true? No. No, you're Do you honor. have a problem with alcohol? Uh, no, I, I don't. That's a yes. All right. So... When you say he can't control himself, but you kept him in the band. Because he's a good performer and he likes to have a good time. And there it but is. But I thought he would be responsible. We've had discussions. We all have drinks beforehand, but we all know how to control ourselves. So you ourselves. all consume alcohol as well? Yes, yeah. Your Honor. Thank so you. We not like him, though, Your Honor. He yes. goes overboard, overboard, especially when we're performing. Like, a shot is cool or two. He t takes the whole bottle. Like, I see. I see. You know, and, and then he does pills, he does other things that uh, I don't want to say in the courtroom, but, Your Honor, he's just he very irresponsible. Are there some challenges in that area, sir? Uh, I plead the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you will. All right, that's a yes. So, do you feel as though you need to do all of that to be a true artist? I want to create the best show possible, okay? And so whatever I and have to do... And you don't feel as though you can create Not that without sober. a bottle? No. Not without the lame bassist and drummer that I have behind me. Really? Really? Yeah. You least decided we're sober, to be part of the group. Not breaking our stop, equipment. Stop, stop, stop. Why did you choose to be with them? Well, I needed a, a band. Uh, I, I've been through several bands. Uh, Why have you been through several bands? No. Because he's a drunk? Ma'am, stop interrupting. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. I've been through a few bands because nobody knows how to contain my talent on stage, okay? Contain. No one else knows how to contain your talent. Yes. What is 
And, and that, can, that talent needs that much containing. I should be in an arena, I should be selling out concerts, okay? So sometimes oh. I get a little bit rowdy on stage. Coming up on America's Court. He decides to be crazy and jump into the crowd all the time at every show. Did the people catch it? No. No. <laughs> Who would catch an idiot like this? And later. Mrs. Thomas was having a relationship with your husband. Yes. I caught her in a car, in a parked car. They was making out. We're back with the case of musician Janet Clarkson, who is suing fellow rocker Paul Whitney for damage to a bass guitar and amplifier. What happened with the guitar? He was drunk and out of control, and during a song change, he decides to run across the stage, grab my bass guitar without even asking for it, and does his little famous stunt, and on the way he falls in. What was famous the famous stunt? What was what the famous his, stunt? He likes to be the center of attention, so he wants to crowd well, he's the lead surf. singer. Well, yeah, but we're Thank in a small you, bar Ross. with only 60 people, <laughs> Your Honor. He decides to be crazy and jump into the crowd all the time at every show. I like and, to crowd surf. Oh, is it and the in people? certain gigs, that's fine, but when we're in a bar of only 60 people, it's not fine. So you th threw yourself to the audience thinking they were going to catch you? He threw his drunkenness to the floor is what he did. Did the people catch you? No. No. <laughs> Who would catch an idiot like this? So did you fall and hurt yourself, sir? Yeah. And that, and I'm not suing anybody for the guitar or and the amp, Your Honor. Had you been drinking before you did this? Yeah, but we were all drinking. All right. So you were drinking. You fell. You guys were like, whatever. But he broke the guitar. Yes. And the amp. And the, and amp. the amp. Yeah. And how I did he do that? Broke my and my neck. guitar has sentimental Nobody value on me. because he was jumping around, and when he jumped, he took the cable with the guitar, and it pulled the amp and smashed it. So the amp got smashed, and what happened to the guitar? The, the guitar, he broke the neck of the guitar, because he went right off stage, landed on it, and just snapped it. What did you all do? I checked on him after he had... You know, I'm so glad you said that, because I, I'm sitting here, because I don't know if you all heard that. It's like, okay, he fell. This is your lead singer. You guys are in a band, right? Yeah. But, Your Honor... And if you all are still... I was jumping and around and playing and and my guitar. And like, and he's I down. didn't fall. I would think that would be odd. So somebody did check yeah, on I him. Yeah, I checked on him, Your Honor. And then what happened? I mean, he was laughing like it was funny. No. He, he thought it was his I was in you pain. Did. I was almost crying. Bro, you were laughing like it was funny and you no, messed up I was our equipment. Wincing our and I was like, I, I was trying to keep the show going. Was like, look what I did. Yeah. What was the crowd saying? How were they reacting? They were just stunned. They were looking mm -hmm. like, is he okay? Is everything all right? Like, is this, is this an act? The whole room or is went this... silent and then it was just him getting up all right. laughing. So the bottom line is these things got destroyed. Yes. Yeah. And obviously you need them to continue on. With yes. Right. And why don't you feel as though you have to pay for it, sir? First of all, it was an accident, okay? okay. There were cords that were not taped down properly that the sound guy did, must have not, not seen. Accident. I tripped over the cords, and whenever I was on my way to crowd serving, that's whenever I fell, and that's whenever it Now broke. wait, so tell me about this, this other, is this a person also a member of your group, the person responsible for the cords? No, he was just no. a random person that we hired to tape down the cords. And so what are you saying about the cord person? He didn't tape it down properly. That's a lie, Your Honor. And I Everything move around the stage frequently whenever I perform. Oh, so I oh, tripped oh, and oh, fell. Okay. Lie, Your Honor. I see, Deputy everything. Thomas, we, we, we should, have, we I, I've heard of this before, this whole notion of S-O-D-D-I. And you know what that means. Some other dude did it. Some other dude did it. He's the reason why all this is going on. He's, had he not done his job, you wouldn't it's have, you. is that what you're telling me? Uh, I guess, <laughs> S-O-D-D-I. I've well, never heard of that phrase, but yeah, S-O-D-D-I. Some other dude. D-R-I-N-K. I-N-G, drinking. That's what you were doing. Good, he can spell, Your Honor. He can spell. Do you have any proof of terms of the uh, damage to the Yes, Your Honor. I have a and guitar and my receipt, Your Honor. All right, the receipt for, did you have to buy a the new receipt, one? No, I, did, I told you it has a sen sentimental value, so I just wanted it to be replaced. So, I'm sorry, if you, it has a sentimental, sentimental value, value, you want it replaced? Want it re well, I mean, the, I needed the, it to be fixed, so I just had a new neck put onto the base. Oh, you replaced the neck, but the, the body of the... The uh, body of it was scratched, so I had to have it repainted and have the neck replaced. All right, so let's along take a... Along with my amp. Let's take a look at the uh, guitar on the plasma here. Uh, it looks very funky. There's a little piece of something right above the main body of the... That's where the neck snapped off from the base. I see. Okay. And so you saw this damage, correct, Mr. Um, Whitney, sir? Yes. He held up both pieces like, yeah, look what I did. Oh, after no. it was... Yeah, because he yeah. thought it was hysterical. This is the repair, but this also includes the parts, the labor. Is this also for the amplifier as well? No, or just for the guitar, Your Honor. Oh, you're not suing for the amplifier? Yes, I am. Okay. So the total amount for the amplifier and, and the, the guitar. guitar. I had to buy a new amp. All right. So you had all the work done at the same place. Yes. 
So, Mr. Whitney, when I read your complaint, sir, yeah. one of the things that you said right off the top of the bat, if it had been my fault that her stuff got busted, I would have paid for the repairs. Because I, it's not like I'm happy that it broke. I feel bad that her guitar broke. Okay. Then you should have replaced it, right? So there, ultimately, like you're saying, money just so, just so just so I'm aware that we're on the same page, your feeling is if you had been responsible, you would have actually have made her whole. Correct. Based on the evidence and the testimony before this court, the gavel is going to come down in favor of the plaintiff. You said if her? it's your fault... You are responsible. You are going to pay the monies. You may have an issue with alcohol. It's okay to be a rock superstar without alcohol and drugs, sir. Judgment in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of $1,058. Case closed. Judge Ross has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $1,058. I am happy with the judgment. The judge made the right call. He broke the guitar. He's responsible for it, and he's no longer in the band. Hopefully, he'll find AA, and we're over it. The judge got it all wrong. I'm moving on. F those people. Follow America's Court on Facebook and Twitter. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.